Good morning guys and Merry Christmas. It is Christmas today. We are gonna head out to my family to to their home and celebrate Christmas. Uh, spend the morning really making packages. Yeah, uh, we uh, have had a whole bunch of things that we're gonna give away. We are actually, this is the fun thing, we're not giving presents in our family this year. Uh, we're gonna have some kind of um, game-ish. Uh, instead of everyone buying Christmas presents for everyone, we kind of just buy one each, put it in a pile, and then everyone gets a random one, basically. That's how it works. However, I have a whole bag full of Christmas presents because I believe that my uh, nephews should have Christmas presents and I have a couple of things that I've been meaning to give to my siblings that I thought, hey, why not just pack them up and do that? And by the way, I made Christmas tags on those, pe on those presents. I can show you one of them. I'm gonna steal a package here if I can get it up. Um, like these. Whoa, here you have it. Um, a little while ago, like a month or so ago, I were working on my Copic and pencil work because this is a combination of it. I was very inspired um, to do it, um, but I never used the images. I had a square piece of paper with four of these images. Uh, and I have had it lying on my craft table for since then. I've been meaning to do something about it, uh, or with it, but haven't. So I thought, why not just use a little bit of cardstock, uh, a tag die, and those images, and then you have automatic uh, Christmas gift tags. So yeah, that is what I've been spending my morning doing, and editing videos and all of those things. Gizmo is running around playing with paper. Uh, Christopher has gotten some stuff in packages that has has like just a little bit harder paper in it as the uh, um, yeah fill and Gizmo loves that paper. He's, it's the same color as it so I think he thinks he's hiding himself in it and sometimes it does sometimes you're not noticing it there but yeah uh, we are actually needing to get dressed and head out so that we can leave and we can catch the uh, ferry because um, my parents live on an island so we're going on a ferry but i wanted to say good morning and merry christmas uh, merry christmas everyone so i'm home from the long day uh, i had I had ideas of maybe kind of vlogging the way out there or something uh, but it was actually dark when we left, uh, a little bit darker at least and then I'd just been spending time with, with the family um, don't really film anything there, out there with them so it's just it just didn't happen it's been a long day. I am super exhausted. It's not even nine o'clock, but I hardly got any sleep last night, which means that I was tired from the get-go. And these kind of social outings, even when it is my family, is very, very, very intense. Uh, I'm a very introverted person. I love being in extroverted situation and I put myself in extroverted situations because I need to due to anxiety and panic attacks and stuff like that and because I love to being in those situations but I am an introverted person so I don't get energy from those kinds of situations I get happiness and I get joy out of, of those situations but I need to kind of step back, go home, recharge my batteries and it takes me a couple of days, a week or something after a very intensive thing like Christmas. Um, and then being on top of that, not, not having the energy from the beginning 
to give with me having a really really bad migraine because I haven't slept last night. I'm exhausted now. <laughs> I'm really exhausted now. And tomorrow we are going to drive, I think it's five or six hours to Gothenburg. So it's, it's gonna be a long and intense day tomorrow also. But I know that I can sleep in the car if I really, really need to. Um, I've had periods of time when I'm just kind of nodding off um, when we've been out. And don't worry, I'm not the one driving. <laughs> I didn't. I don't drive. Uh, so if I nod off, I won't be driving the car into the road. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so that's... So So it's been a, a traditional Christmas. Uh, I went down to my parents, uh, met up with them, uh, talked with them about the situation and stuff. Uh, then we went down to my uncle's house, which actually was my old house. Um, it's a family thing. Um, my grandpa owns the land out there, so he owns a couple of houses on those lands. And they kind of go in circles um, when you are newlyweds and don't have that many children. You start off in one house and then... Um, when you get start making children and you kind of grow out of the house, uh, you move into the next house, um, and then um, and that's basically how it works. Go in a circle like that. But uh, in our case, uh, my father felt that he wanted to have something that was his own to build on, um, and on, on top of that, my uncle. Um, wanted to move out uh, to the countryside too. So we moved up to our own house and my uncle moved into our house, um, our previous house, which my grandparents also have lived in before. Uh, but uh, so we were there and we had like Christmas lunch slash dinner. I don't know what you call it, a liner. Lunner? I don't know. There's a branch, but I don't know what the opposite thing is called. Anyhow, it's from like two o'clock in the afternoon to whenever we stop eating. And we have all the traditional Swedish Christmas food, with a lot, which is a lot of pickled herring in different shapes and forms. Uh, and um, a lot of um, other fish like salmon. Um, and then... Uh, we have fish dishes, uh, meatballs, and small tiny sausages, um, and ham, which is basically the crown jewel on a Swedish Christmas table, is the um, oven cooked ham, uh, which can be glazed in different shapes and forms. But yeah, so we have that. And then we had a little bit of a Christmas opening presents. We don't really give that much presents. We have a little game where we um, give small gifts into one pile. And then everyone gets one package from that pile. And that is for the adults. And then um, my two nephews uh, gets all the presents. Um, and then it's coffee and then it's off. So uh, we headed off a little bit earlier because we have to go all the way back home and everything. But it, it was nice. It was it was calm and nice. So um, it was a nice Christmas. But I thought I would kind of end off uh, the vlogging today because uh, tomorrow we are leaving pretty early and I wanted to edit this. Um, also, I think I will be heading to bed in not so f far future because I'm really tired. But I had a very calm and nice Christmas and I hope that you have an awesome Christmas too. And I want to say Merry Christmas to you and I'll see you tomorrow. So good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>